Hey, it's Jeremy here. We're going to be learning about the appearance panel in Illustrator CC. It's a quick tool. It allows you to use effects, add strokes, fills really effectively and really quick um, instead of going to your options and adding it that way. So um, it's a handy tool and I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to go to window and we're going to open appearance panel and you'll get this box pop up. Pretty much you can see in the bottom left hand corner, we've got our three options. As I said before, we've got our stroke, we can add fills and we can add effects both Photoshop effects and Illustrator effects. Uh, make sure you understand that Photoshop effects, um, when you use these, it will actually rasterize some of your vector graphics. So you're gonna be careful when you're using those effects. So instead of going up here in the top left hand corner, if you click effect and going to these here, they're all the same um, as we just showed you. So um, keep in mind that you don't have to go here. You can just use the appearance panel, which is a lot more effective. So what we're gonna do here, I just have this letter C here. And when you select it, Make sure when you're adding, you know, these effects in the appearance panel to select your object because it's not going to change it. And you can see how it says character. So it's recognizing it as a, um, a letter form. So it's just live type. I can just type. And what we've got here, it, you, can, you can see that we've got nothing on here. So if I go click a stroke now, add new stroke, it's going to add a stroke layer. I'm just going to quickly change this fill to a white because it doesn't recognize it properly um, when you just use the appearance panel first up. So change it to white and we're going to have a stroke here. So I'm going to just change this stroke to a color. I'm just going to make it orange and then make it bigger. So you can see we're starting to get these, this stroke here in the appearance panel. You can add more strokes and you can add as many fills as you want, just like that. So you can stack it up. Um, if you want to um, duplicate it, you can also just go duplicate a selected item. If you have a certain like effect um, or size of stroke and you want to duplicate that, you can just press down here, the paper icon, it will duplicate it. Or you can press the bin and it's going to delete um, the ones you don't want. So if you've got a stroke here, orange one, uh, I'm just going to drop that a bit lower. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to duplicate that. And I'm going to change the, we'll make it a bit darker. And now I'm going to make it a bit smaller. So you can see now, if I go zoom in, this orange stroke is above um, is above this orange, this lighter orange, and you can see it's starting to go in the middle of it. So we're getting like this cool stroke effect. So this is you know sometimes how you can make some retro, you know, cool type, um, some cool you know layouts and effects. So um, if I make it, if I select it, and I, if I make it bigger, you can see it's it's going to be over this orange. But if I drag it, you can drag these layers down just like that. And now the lighter orange is above it. So you're gonna make sure that um, you see the layers. You can also drop these arrows up if you don't want to have the opacity there. Um, you can change the opacity if you want, but you can just um, do that. And you can turn these eyeballs off as well if you don't wanna see the strokes to see what it looks like. You can also drag um, these strokes under the fill and have the fill up. Because sometimes um, if you're working with type and trying to add effects, it can it look too messy and you want the, you know, the letter shape to be still bold. Um, but yeah, so that was looking pretty cool actually. So we're going to do that. Um, you can also add fills as well in the same order. So I can add like a light blue or whatever it is. And I can just test it if I'm testing different colors out um, or whatever, but I'm just going to delete that. So another cool trick is you can do add these effects. So um, you got, you know, 3D, you got transform, um, all these really cool effects um, that I don't use all the time, but usually I go to stylize. Um, you can go around corners or usually the, um, the quick way I drop, to do drop shadows, I do it from here. And then you can see now, I can add a quick drop shadow. It's probably not going to be seen because the background's really dark. I'll just change the color real quick. Okay, now you can sort of see it. I'm going to change the blur. Change the opacity down as well. Sweet, so now you can see if I zoom in, we've got this glow in there. And the thing, the cool thing about using the appearance panel is that everything is live. So it's not like it's expanded and you can't change it. You can just click on it and go back and edit all these features. So you can see about this drop shadow. If I just double click on that layer, I can re-edit it and change these settings if I don't like it. So that's the really good thing about using the appearance panel instead of adding everything um, you know, by itself because it will get messy and you won't be able to edit it. So it's good to keep things live. And that's why it's good to use the appearance panel. So you can always turn things off. You can always um, go back to it, edit the color, edit the, the line weight, anything you want. 
So this is really handy to use. So what else we got here? If you go to the drop down menu, at the top, you can also um, use the options here as well. You can also go clear appearance. It's going to clear everything on that object, shape or letter form. So I'm going to control this, do that. So, if, so you can do that. Um, you can reduce it to basic appearance. So what that does is just, it reduces the fill and it just goes back to, you know, it's original um, from that, whatever's below that layer. And yeah, so we can also go hide thumbnail. So if you don't want to see the thumbnail at the top there, you can turn that off. And pretty much that's it. That's how you use uh, the appearance panel. So the best thing to do is just play around with it. You've got a lot of effects here, um, you know, and you can just experiment and test it out. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Let me know if it's helped you out and hope to see more. <clears throat> yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if it, if it helped you out. Um, share it. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Hope it was helpful. Um, leave a comment below if you like these type of tutorials and if you want to see more. Don't forget to subscribe for more design content every week.